to find the volume of this half cylinder, first of all, we know that the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. But because, because of half of a cylinder, so what we need to do is we just time by a half or divide by two. So we know that the radius of this cylinder is 7.2 centimeters. So therefore the radius is equal to 7.2 divided by two. So which is 3.6 centimeters. So all we need to do now is just to substitute the values in the formulas, that's all. So now pi equal 3.6 square times by 10.5 times a half. So which give me 213.75396 and so on. So to round the answer correct to one decimal place, so all we need to do is just to write all the way up to 0.7. But before we write that, of course, we look at this number up to 7, which is 5, halfway. So we add 1 to 7. So which give me 213.8 cubic centimeters. Now, if you think you can do this question, find the volume of this um, solid, you can actually try to do it yourself. And please pause the video and try it if you can. To find the volume of this, first of all, we know that it's a quarter of a cylinder. Or we, we know that this is 90 degree, given 90 degrees. So we can do, what we can do is we write down the rule, which is volume is pi r square h. So we only want one quarter of it, or we can time by 90 out of 360 degrees, because we only want 90 degree out of 360 degrees, or time by quarter if you like. So now we all we need to do is just substitute the value in. The radius is 8.4 centimeters, and the height is 12.4 centimeters. So we, all we need to do which is substitute in the formula, which give me 687.1794 and so on. To round the answer correct to two decimal place, uh, we can just write up the, all the way up to uh, 0.17. Of course, the number after 17 is nine, so which is add one to 17. So which is eight, uh, 687 point 18 cubic centimeters. Please try to pause the video if you think you can do this question. To do this, first of all, I just label it uh, volume one, volume two first, so it makes it easier. So first of all, for volume one, so we know that this cylinder here, all the way from here to here, is the radius, it's just the same as from here, all the way to here is five, which add another two, which is seven. So the radius is seven centimeters. So we know that the volume is pi r square h. So all we need to do is to substitute the value in, which is pi times seven square times nine, which give me 1385.44 cubic centimeters. Then five volume two, V2 is equal to pi r square hex. So which is pi times five square times eight, which give me 628.32 cubic centimeters. Now what we need to do is just to add the two volume together, which is 1385.44 at 628.32, which give me 2013.76 cubic centimeters. Please pause the video, try to do this question yourself, see if you can get the same answer as mine. First of all, I just label V1 V2 and V3. So we know that volume 
v1 is pi r square h. So the radius of this is v1 is from here to here, which is from here to here is a diameter which is 12 centimeters. So therefore the radius is half of the diameter which is 6 centimeters. So now to substitute the value in the formula, which is pi r square h, which is pi times 6 square times 2. Now I just put this uh, number in the formula, uh, in the calculator. So I got shift pi times 6 square times 2, which equal to this. So now, because I'm going to use this value, so I just store that in memory A. So I press answer, shift, store A. And I write that down first. So which give me 226.195 and so on. Then volume 2, which is pi r square h again. The radius is, we need to find out. So from here to here is 4 centimeters for V3. But then you add another 2 on top. For V2, so which is 4 centimeters. Because from here to here is 2, and at another 2 is 4 centimeters. So which is, and the height is, of course, the height is 2. So this is 4 centimeters. So now all we need to do is to substitute in the formula, which is pi times 4 squared times 2. Now I just put in the calculator. So go shift pi times 4 square times 2, which give me this. So now I, sh I store the answer into memory B. So shift, uh, sorry, just answer, shift, store B. And I write that down, so which is 100.531 100 and so on. Now, last one, which is volume 3, which is pi r square h. So we know that the radius is from here to here is 2 centimeters because 4 is the diameter. So all we need to do is pi times, sorry, pi times 2 square times 2. So now all I need to do is just to type that in a calculator. So I got shift pi times. 2 square is 4 times another 2, which give me this. So now I just store answer. I store that in C, shift, store C. So I write that down. That's what I get. So now what we need to do is just add all these volume together. So which is V equal 226.195 at 100.53 and so on and add 25.133. So all I need to do is I just bring a calculator up. I just add them up. So I just go alpha A plus alpha B plus alpha C. So which give me this. So correct to one decimal place, which should give me 330. 351.9. So that's the answer. Now please try to pause the videos and try to do, do it yourself if you can. Now what we have here is a cube and a cylinder. So what we need to find is the volume. So to find the volume of this, all we need to do is find volume of cube and then minus the uh, volume of a cylinder. It will give you the uh, answer. So first of all, volume of a cube, just say, say V1, is 8 times 8 times 8. So which give me 512 cubic centimeters. Volume 2, which is volume of a cylinder, which is pi r square h. So the radius, because the diameter is 6 from here to here, so the radius is halfway, must be half of 6, which is 3 centimeters. Of course, the height of a cylinder is the, the height of this, which is 8. 
centimeters, so which is pi times three square times eight, which give me that, and then the answer is two hundred and twenty six point one nine five cubic centimeters. To find the volume of this, all we need to do now is just to find the vo we, all we need to do is to use the volume of cube minus the volume of cylinder, which is this. So therefore, the answer is 285.8053 and so on. So we just round up to um, one decimal place, which give me 285.8 cubic centimeters. Find height if the volume of cylinder B is three-fifths of the volume of cylinder A. So to find height, we need to find first of all, find volume of cylinder A first. So volume is pi r square h. So we know that the diameter of A is 6.4 centimeters. So therefore, the radius is from here to here, which is half of 6.4 which is 3.2 centimeters. So which is pi times 3.2 square times 3. So equal to 96.5097 cubic centimeters. So now we know that volume B is 3 fifth of volume A, which is 3 fifth of 96 point five zero nine seven so which give me seventy fifty seven point nine zero five eight cubic centimeters but we know that volume B is pi r square h so therefore all we need to do is to substitute these values in the formula which is fifty seven point nine zero five eight is equal to pi times 2 square times h. 2 square is 4, 4 times pi is 4 pi. So which is 57.9058 equal 4 pi h. So to get rid of 4 pi, I just divide by 4 pi on the right and divide by 4 pi on the right here as well. So that cancel out. So therefore, put in the calculator. Therefore, h is equal to 4.6 centimeters. Thank you so much for watching my videos.